What's going on everybody? Welcome. This is Monster Mark 78. So today I'm going to go over how to fix or replace the R2 button on your PS4 controller. Now before I get started, if you have any questions guys at all, don't hesitate to contact me on my Instagram. That's Monster Mark 78. Uh, I'll put that in the description below so you can see how it's spelled or, or put the link in there so you guys can go to it. Uh, but send like pictures to my Instagram saying, hey man, I'm stuck. Um, this is the part I'm at or hey, this didn't work for me, but does this part look like it's damaged? Just whatever you need to do to kind of, if it's gonna help you, send me pictures, send me comments through DM on Instagram, and maybe I can help you guys. But I put my other controller video with the head, head jack that got broken, and most people, it works for them. <clears throat> Some people didn't. So don't think this is the solution that, you know, it's gonna solve everything. It might be, it might not be. Uh, but you don't know until you open the controller and find out. But at least you'll know how to do that and you can help someone else that has a problem. But anyway guys, hopefully you enjoy. Make sure you guys smash the like button and a subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Let's dive in. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is take these four screws out in the back of the controller right here. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, and four. And make sure you guys are taking your time. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. And then once we do this, we'll get right back into it. So next, guys, is taking the controller apart and kind of breaking it open. Well, not breaking it, but opening it up. And you can see mine's kind of already done a little bit, but you're going to take the edge. I like to do that. Pull it down, squeeze, and then try to get a grip. If you need to, you can put a screwdriver or whatever just to hold it and kind of re-grip so it doesn't close back. So you're going to pinch it, and then you're going to pull, and it's going to open up just like that. And obviously, you want to, you can just do one side like that, and the whole thing will open up or both sides. But... Make sure that you are taking your time and you're not yanking it once you break it because there is a tab that you need to take out right here, this white one, so be careful. Alright, so we're going to take the tab out right now. Just make sure you don't pull it out from the black part of the back of the controller. You want to pull it out next to where the battery is. It's just easier to put back in, uh, but you can use your fingers. It's not a big deal, but I like to use the needle nose pliers just because it's, it's easier and it's just precautions in case anything happens uh, but you can grab the needle nose pliers and reach all the way down to the blue part now the blue part is a little thicker because you don't want to pull from like the middle of the tab and then break it or, or mess it up in any way so you're going to pull that out and it's going to be open like that so guys what's next is checking visually and inspecting the R2 button now this is just before you actually take the battery or move to the side and taking the green chip out for the spring before you do that whole process just check visually on the button to make sure it's moving and make sure nothing is loose or broken because sometimes you can just decide off that and looking at it and saying okay it's just the plastic piece that snapped and you have to replace that so you have the little spring on the side mine's working but i'm showing you this in case your spring is messed up or it came loose or you need to replace it or it got lost whatever it is and i'll show you how to replace that very shortly but like i said visually inspect it make sure everything's good and i'll show you how to take the button off right now so you can see it's a little like latched on right now and you see i can't pull up anymore and usually what i do is i'll place my fingers just like this and then i'll push down and then lift up from the front like that up and over the latch and then it should just pop out Sometimes you have to pull a little bit harder uh, to take it out, but make sure you guys know how to put it back in. You're going to place it down, and it's going to pop in, and then push forward, so that way it's latched on, and then you're good to go. Now, you can check the rubber underneath, and it's like a little connector too, so you can replace those, which I'll put the link in the description. And those are very cheap, it's like, I don't even know, like 5 bucks or something, or 6 bucks, but... Uh, you don't really need to take everything apart. I think you can pop it up underneath and then once it comes up You can just kind of pull it out and then replace that So that might be damaged or worn out instead of having to take the whole controller out in the spring, which is kind of nice Okay guys, so we're gonna get to the spring part right now So really really quick the reason why you can't just take the spring out is because this little black piece right there from the 
plastic in the front that's coming through. So you have to kind of pull this part right here, the plastic up and then out. Or and pull the spring out because it's in the way. That's the reason why we have to take it apart. So we're going to take the battery. We can kind of move it to the side on this one. We don't need to take it apart or take it out of the connector. Just like that. And we'll set it to the side. And then we will grab the little needle nose pliers. And we will take the little blue tab out. It might be orange, whatever color it is for you. And kind of reach down there. It might take a few times, which sometimes it takes me. And then once you grab a grip, just kind of pull on it. And then there you go. And then just like that. And it should stay out. It shouldn't like pop back in randomly. And then what we'll do is we'll grab the screwdriver, the mini one, and we will take the little screw out right here. And like I said before, guys, you can pause the video anytime you need to. So it's easier for you guys. You don't have to, you know, kind of be like, oh, what's happening? And then we'll take that and move it to the side right now. So it looks like this. Okay, guys, so now that we have the screw out and everything in the battery, you guys can see on the left, actually, you can see how loose the controller is first. Like if you put it down, see how it's moving? You can actually take that black piece out, the plastic, and kind of pull it away. But for, I do like to keep it just because it keeps everything kind of connected and you don't want any buttons falling out or and then you don't know how to put the buttons back in. So I kind of keep it close to it and you can kind of just pull up on it just to kind of get out of it. But you can see right here how it's moving now past it. So you, you'll be able to pull the spring away and that way you can kind of replace it. Like I said, you can you can keep it up like this, which we're going to do, or you can try to take the black plastic part away from it and then do it that way but I just like to leave it like this it's just easier for me and then we'll go through that and if anything if it's easier for you guys the other way then leave it in the comments saying it's easier to take it off so people know okay so we're going to take out the spring right now and you're going to use your needle nose pliers it's just a little bit easier just to grab the spring you can use your fingers but needle nose pliers like I said it's just easier to hold on to uh, this plastic part I like to hold the gray parts and then push the black part down with my fingers but on here guys you're gonna grab the top of the spring so you open up the nose pliers you can grab it and push it down and then pull it out and up and then the spring will be straight up in the air on that side like that so you can see it moving and I'll show you how to put that back in after now it's pretty easy but what you want to do when you're trying to take it out right now and like I said you can use your fingers but on this one you can grab your knee nose pliers and you're gonna to try to just pull it out of that little area So I ended up by grabbing the bottom of the spring, guys, and kind of just pulling up and out just like that. That's pretty much how you take it out. So after this, guys, will be a fast forward of putting the controller back together. So hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe button, and leave in the comments anything that helped or didn't help for other people. That way it can actually help them uh, learn. Anyway, guys, on the spring, it was easier for me to hold it with my fingers and kind of pinch it and then put it over the hook. And once it's in there, just push the spring down and pop it back in place. And next, guys, we'll be putting the button back on, so get that ready.